everybody, Keith K here with another Stranded Deep tutorial. Today we're going to take a quick look at the tool belt. If you go to your crafting menu, under crafting, over here under tool belt, you'll see that there are several, there's the tool belt and several pouches. Um, and you unlock these in order. So I did craft um, the first tool belt already using one lashing. Uh, and that unlo unlocked tool belt pouch number one and we'll craft each of these in succession um, to continue to add to our hotkeys and where you see these are uh, down below you'll see that because I've got just the tool belt crafted I only have the number one hotkey unlocked but there are nine more um, that can be unlocked so let's take a look at what we need to do that so to craft our first pouch we're gonna need one lashing and one cloth and then for our second pouch, we'll need one raw hide and one cloth. And then at the end, we'll just need two leather for the final um, tool belt pouch crafting. And one of the mistakes that I always make is um, I usually immediately craft my raw hide into leather, um, but you actually need the raw hide itself. So um, if you're going to craft your tool belt, you know, hang on to one of those before you get started. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and craft our first tool belt pouch. And that unlocked two more hotkeys for us. And then we'll go and craft our next tool belt pouch. And we can see that that unlocked all the way through six. So we've got seven, eight, nine, and 10 left, or zero. And if we craft this third one here, that adds the final set of pouches, which gives us a full unlock. Now, the utility of the hotkeys isn't great at the moment because they don't give you additional um, storage capacity. But if you want to assign something to a hotkey, you simply um, hover over it. So you're, you make sure your cursor is you know, pointing at it. And then you're going to hold the hotkey down until it, until it um, shows up in the hotkey below. And you'll see that it takes a minute uh, or a second or two. Uh, and at first I thought it was not working for me. So you have to hold it down and wait and it'll show up there in the hotkey again. I'm gonna press down now. And you see that it takes you know a few seconds to show up. But you'll see that these are all still in my inventory. So it doesn't do a lot for you other than give you these at the touch of a key, which you know it can save you a little bit of time or if you're uh, trying to harvest in an area where maybe there's a boar or something and you need to be able to switch back quickly. There is some utility there, but that's pretty much it. Short and sweet. If you uh, enjoy these videos, please do give them a like and consider subscribing. It definitely helps the channel and I do appreciate it. Thanks and I'll see you back here soon.